What's up, Conan Exiles? We're back, and I'm going to show you how to build a spiral winding staircase like this. This is not for like a regular tower or anything like that. It's more for, I use it more for external uh, types of builds, like in this case. It's a good easy way to get up to another level like on a plateau or something like that and it looks really cool i've seen other kinds of stairs that people use for that purpose but they don't it doesn't really look as aesthetically pleasing to me as something like this this looks very filled out it looks very i've seen other people do like a winding stair like this but they don't have it filled in uh underneath it to give it more of a solid look to it and there's other things that I use this for. Uh, for example, out here in these northern regions, there's several places where you really can't climb. Uh, and so I will use these towers and, and link them together, snake them together to go up like a ridge line to where I can get up from the valley or the low areas up to the top of a mountain ridge. I uh, probably can use them for other purposes too, but it looks really, really cool. The the building system here in Conan Exiles, it is the best building system out of any of the major survival games I've played. That includes Ark and Rust. Uh, you can do things like this. I, If you can do the, these sorts of things in like Ark without mods, uh, I just don't know if it's, I don't think it's possible. Maybe it is. I just don't think it is though. Uh, same thing with Rust. So Conan, that's why I like Conan. It keeps pulling me back in because you can just build really, really cool stuff like this. But there are problems with doing these kinds of builds. Just like so many other things in Conan Exiles where you're doing advanced builds, you have to do things in a certain order. Um, or you just get stuck. Certain things won't snap to certain other pieces. And I'm going to go, and this, this design is one of the worst examples of that. You have to do things in a certain order to get this to work right. If you just try to build it just doing stairs and then filling in the where you think you need to fill in these other pieces, it just you'll you'll just get stuck. Uh, it happened to me. I spent hours trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. And it's just you have to do it in a certain order. And that's what I'm going to show you guys here in this video. Okay, before we start building this thing, I'm going to give you a list of the building pieces you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need uh, wedge ceiling pieces along with regular ceiling pieces. You're going to need the sloped roof piece. You're going to need regular walls along with the sloped regular walls and the inverted sloped walls. And you're also going to need regular stair pieces and you're going to need some wedge foundation pieces. Also before we get started, uh, I'm going to show you some snapping issues. That you're going to have with certain pieces and also I've noticed in the comments some people are a little bit confused about uh, how certain pieces snap to other pieces for example in the comment sections I've noticed some people are under the assumption that for example stairs they have a snap point on the side of the stairs uh, this is actually not the case the stairs only have a snap point on the bottom of the stairs and at the top of the stairs there's no snap point on the side of the stairs and I'll show you here and I'll illustrate that here by going up the wall the side of this wall with some stairs so notice I can uh, rotate the stair piece to any one of four directions here and so I'm gonna just start going up parallel with the wall with stair pieces and then I can only do that for a certain number of stair stairs uh, notice right here it's stopped I can no longer have the stairs going up parallel with the wall so to see what's going on here let me get a repair hammer out and you'll notice here the stairs have a 25 stability and this stair has 50 so the stair piece is costing 25 stability if I was to place another stairs here and snap to, to these existing stair piece that stair piece would have zero stability so the game's not gonna let me do that so what the game is actually allowing me to do is it's seeking out the next possible snap point which is just the top of the stairs snapping to that wall or the bottom of the stairs snapping to that wall so to get this stair piece to actually snap parallel with the wall I need to place something like a regular ceiling piece which would then allow me to snap the stair piece the bottom of the stair piece would be snapping to that ceiling piece there and so you're gonna this is actually uh, gonna be an issue 
later on when we build the spiral staircase. So I'm going to give you some insight into how some of the other pieces snap, like the sloped wall piece. Notice I can snap it on the on a foundation piece. It can snap on the top of a wall, parallel with the wall, and it can also snap on top of ceiling pieces, like so. Uh, notice here it will not snap on any of the walls, the side of the walls. Now let's switch over to the inverted sloped wall piece. Notice, notice what it's doing here. It's actually snapping to the side of the wall. It can snap on the top of the wall perpendicular and parallel to the top of the wall. Same thing on the ceiling pieces. But unlike the regular sloped wall piece, the inverted sloped wall piece can actually snap perpendicular to the walls. This is actually going to be an issue when we start building the spiral, spiral staircase. So let's go ahead and start building this thing. When I'm just like my other towers, I start off with foundation wedge pieces. And in this case, I want, I'm only going to build the six wedge foundation pieces to make a hexagon and then build up instead of creating like a floor plan. And I, instead of creating a floor plan like I did in the other uh, tower videos. So let's go ahead and set down six of these. Notice that makes a hexagon, and I'm just going to build it up. Okay, and here we basically made a pillar, a hexagon-shaped pillar out of foundation wedge pieces. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build this the wrong way. Uh, we're going to build this like how you would expect this to be built normally, just starting off with stair pieces go winding around the tower and then trying to fill in the the underneath the stairs so that's that would be the way i would try to build this normally and i'm going to show you why it won't work and it's just to illustrate the problem that you have when doing these sort of advanced builds it all comes down to building things in a certain order so anyway let's go ahead and start building this first of all you'll notice i can't rotate these stairs to be parallel with the the wedge piece um, and it's going back to what I showed you earlier. It only has stairs only have a snap point on the bottom and the and the top So to get this started off. I need to somewhat prime it I'm gonna put down a regular ceiling piece and a wedge piece. That's gonna give me a snap point for the stairs and I can remove this later this ceiling piece here and we're just gonna go up a couple of turns around the tower And then we're going to try to fill in underneath the stairs. And now you'll notice here already I'm having stability issues. I can't place a wedge piece here. If I break up my repair hammer, you'll see I'm out of stability. So I need to add another ceiling piece so that I can add the wedge. And now it should be able to place the next stairs. You'll run into issues like this. Um, and you just need to have a repair hammer on you to see what's going on. So now let's uh, go ahead and fill underneath these, these stair pieces. Okay, so let's use a regular sloped wall piece. And so now we want to build an inverted sloped wall piece underneath it. Now what's, notice what's going on here. It won't let me do it. And uh, it's like I showed you earlier over there. I can't... Let's go back down here to illustrate what's going on. This inverted slope wall piece, notice I can only, for a ceiling piece, I can only snap above it. It's not letting me snap underneath it. That's what I would need over in this area over here. I don't, I can't, so all, the only thing it, I have to snap to right here is the ceiling piece but also remember what I did earlier these inverted slope wall piece they will they will snap to a wall perpendicular to the wall so what I need here I need a wall piece right here so normally that would allow me to place this inverted slope wall but again notice what's going on here it's still not allowing me to snap 
So I'm going to go back down here to this wall to sh illustrate what's really going on. Now, I'm not trying to geek out on like how certain pieces snap to each other, but it is useful to know how the rules of the game, what's allowing what to snap. So I can put an inverted slope wall piece here, but notice what happened. If I have a ceiling piece above it, that ceiling piece is now blocking. I cannot snap an inverted sloped wall there because that's in the way. And again, this just shows why you have to do things in a certain order to get the effect that you want. So I'm going to have a problem here. I need to get rid of this ceiling piece to put the inverted sloped wall here against this regular wall. But if I delete this piece, it is going to make everything this fall. <laughs> so let's go ahead and build this back just to show you what's going on here. So my wall piece here is what I need to snap my inverted slope wall piece, but this ceiling piece is in the way. So I could do something like give the support to the stair piece from somewhere else. So I would have to maybe build a wall here and then put a wedge piece here and then a regular ceiling piece here. So stability would be going through this ceiling piece to this wedge piece which would support the wall here and that would keep everything above it staying in place but it's going to get rid actually no it should it should stay there. so I should be able to to delete this and everything stands boom that's what I needed to do so now I should be able to place my inverted slope wall but again look at what's going on here it's I've got an issue it's it's not allowing me to snap. So I think it's probably these stairs that are the problem. So let's get rid of the stairs. Uh, and now that destroyed everything. So see the see the problem that I'm having with this? It's just it's just a mess. Let's try it this way. Now let's see if I can put boom. Now I can put my inverted slope wall there, which should allow me to put my stairs back. So this is why this is such a headache to build. Um, certain pieces block other pieces, and you, it, it's just a it's just a mess. And it was one of the reasons why it took me forever to figure this thing out. It's just the rules of the game: how certain pieces snap to other pieces, and how certain other pieces block certain pieces. So, what's the best way? What is the best way to build this thing without a bunch of snapping issues? And the best way I've found is to build it from the bottom up. So let's just go ahead and delete everything. So the best way to build this thing I have found is to do it from the bottom and then go up. So we're going to start with, instead of stairs, we're going to start with the roof, the sloped roof piece. Now the sloped roof piece, just like the stairs, it only has snap points at the bottom and at the top. So notice here I can't get it to go uh, parallel with the wedge piece. It's only going perpendicular. So I need to prime this thing to start it just like I did with the stairs. So we're going to build a regular ceiling piece, wedge piece. Now we can place the sloped roof piece. And now we're going to fill in the, the problem piece seems to always be this inverted sloped wall piece. So we need to put that there first. So in, to do, in order to do that, we need our wall piece there. That's going to allow us to snap our inverted sloped wall piece. And then we can fill it in with a ceiling piece. And then we're just going to go up like that all the way around, snaking around. So now I need a sloped roof piece here, a regular wall piece that allows us to put our inverted sloped wall piece, and then we close it off with a ceiling piece. And we keep going around to a wedge, sloped roof piece that allows us to put a wall piece, which allows us to put 
an inverted sloped wall, and then a regular ceiling piece. And that's the pattern. Wedge, roof piece, wall piece, sloped inverted wall piece, and then ceiling piece. So that's what we're going to do. Just keep going up around, following that same pattern. Wedge, wall, inverted sloped wall, ceiling piece, wedge, sloped roof piece, wall piece, inverted sloped wall, ceiling piece. And the other good thing about doing it this way, we don't have to, uh, we don't run out of stability um, for the sloped wall pieces because we're always giving, as we're building it up, we're giving stability to the sloped roof piece from the bottom from this, these webbed pieces, which is coming from this, this regular ceiling piece is coming off of this foundation piece. So we're always got a supply of stability going from the foundation piece to the ceiling piece, to the wedge, which gives us stability for our sloped roof piece. So I'm just going to go up a couple more turns and then back out and show you what we've done. Looks like I'm actually to the level I need to go over to the plateau. So I'm not going to go up with sloped roof pieces. I'm just going to go across with regular ceiling pieces to make a bridge over to that plateau. Should be able to go enough here. Okay, so let's back out and look at what we've done. Oh, I've got an extra piece here I need to delete. So we've built underneath the bottom part of the stairs, the spiral stairs that we're building. So what I need to do now, go ahead and delete that. What I need to do now is to fill in with the actual stair pieces. Now, just like in my other tower videos, above every square piece, you're always going to want to put a stair piece. Notice, for some reason, it's not allowing me to rotate where I need it to, so I probably need to add a wedge piece there first. There we go. And then underneath the stair piece, we're going to put a regular sloped wall piece. And then underneath the wedge, or between the wedge pieces, we're putting regular walls. And that's the pattern we're going to follow up now. We're going to do, let's go ahead and just move these pieces so it's easier to use the keys. So start with regular slope wall piece, fill in with the stairs. Put in a regular wall piece here and then a wedge. And just follow that pattern going up. Sloped wall piece, stair piece, 
Bring a wall piece there, and then a wedge. Sloped wall, stairs, regular wall, wedge. Sloped wall, stairs, regular wall, and a wedge. And that's all you do all the way around. None of the snapping issues. It's very methodical now. You just follow this pattern and you'll have no issues. So this is going to be a little bit different here. So I went ahead and I had this roof piece here. I'm going to fill all this in underneath. So I need to get rid of this piece here and this inverted slope wall. And now we're going to use just a regular ceiling piece underneath here. Then a wedge piece. Regular ceiling. Regular wedge. Back out so you can see what I'm doing here. Now we're just going to fill all this in with wall pieces. see what we're doing here so probably out of stability here. yes I am <clears throat> so I need to build stairs going here So I'm going to have to kind of trick it because I'm out of stability. I need to snap to this, but I can't. So I'm going to snap to there. So now I should be able to put a sloped roof piece here. Put a wall piece here so that I can put in my inverted slope wall piece. should be able to actually need some more stability here so I'm gonna add a regular foundation piece here now I should be able to delete this slope to root piece as well as this piece and then finish out with our stairs there. There we go, we've made a slope, or we've, we've made a spiral staircase. I do need to finish out the bottom down here, bring it down to ground level. And it's basically like what I did before, instead of snaking around going up, I'm just gonna snake around going downward. Move my 
wall piece here. And notice I'm having a snapping issue here with the inverted slope wall. Sometimes this happens when you're going downwards. The best thing I've found to do is to delete these pieces and just redo them. So I think the issue is with this wall piece. So I'm going to do something different. We're going to put a regular ceiling piece here to attach a wedge. Get rid of that. Put in our wall piece. Now I should be able to place my inverted slope wall. And I can't. So let's go ahead and fill everything else in here. should be able to place the final stair piece there. Now, I won't be able to fill in with the regular slope wall piece in here because I have no snap point for it. I would need a regular ceiling piece underneath these stairs, and because there's terrain in the way, I don't believe... Oh, wait. Yes, I may be able to do it. I am able to actually snap the ceiling piece there, so I should be able to finish this out. It's still not going to still not gonna work. I think it's too close to the yeah it's too close to the terrain so I could do something yeah it's just not gonna allow me to do it so I could do something like this and then put the stairs there but yeah it's still I'm still not gonna be able to close this off but that's okay. Sometimes when you get uneven ground like that, you're not going to be able to fill everything in. And there you have it. There's the winding spiral staircase that allows us to go up to another plateau. I like this design. It looks really, really cool. You could do something like elevators, but when you're going up a really high distance elevators are extremely slow I like this because it's it's much quicker and you can put railings in here you can also fill in the top up here with something like crenellated walls or you could make a witch's hat by doing something like this get the this is the tiled sloped roof pieces and you just Get them on the edge, get them to snap on the edge, and then use your mouse scroll wheel to bring them in to make a witch's hat. You don't have to do this, you can leave it flat on top. Just different design ideas. Go ahead and back out a little bit. And there you have it a winding spiral staircase. Now I mentioned before, I can also use these to go up ridge lines. Up in the north, there's a lot of areas where it's just too, it's too much of a distance to climb. And using these spiral staircases, you link them together and you can get an effect like this. And you can go up the ridge lines of these mountains and it will give you a nice 
spiral stair walkway to get up from a, a ridge line down to a, to the floor of a valley. And uh, I think this looks really cool. I haven't finished this out yet. I can actually finish out the tops of these and put in railings, but just another design idea. You can also make entire bases using this. It gives it kind of a gothic look of stringing together different spiral staircases. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you uh, like this, please like and subscribe. And I apologize to all my subscribers. I know it's been quite a while since I have done any videos. I've just been really, really bogged down with school. But I have actually finished my two undergraduate degrees, and it should give me more time to do more Conan videos in the future. Anyway, thanks for your time, and see ya.